Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am reviewing volume 4 in a viewer recommended series and that is Kaguya-sama, Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I'm just calling it Love is War in my head. This is what the cover of volume 4 looks like. This was a series that was, like I said, recommended to me by a viewer and I have been loving. Someone else commented on my review of volume 1, I think it was, and said that the series really gets good around volume 3, so I'm really looking forward to volume 4. Well, I was looking forward to it. Now I've read it and I really enjoy it. And I have to say that things have definitely ticked up a notch and the story is getting really, really good and I am loving this series. So volume four, this is what the cover looks like. We have a character on the cover. We have the blue background and the covers for this series, I have to say, are very simple. They're not, um, I do have to say this, they're not like my favorite color covers. And I think that's one of the things that like, would be one of the reasons I wouldn't grab for it without the recommendation. Without the recommendation, I probably wouldn't pull this book off the shelf because I just don't know what's going on there or what to expect. But this is such a good series and I'm so glad that I got the recommendation because I am loving this series. Our characters in this series, for those of you not familiar, we have our two main characters, which is this Kaguya Shinomaya, Shinomiya, and Miyuki Shirogani. We These are the two characters who have feelings for one another, but are too stubborn to confess to one another, and instead are trying to get the other to confess to them. So you have in this little relationship diagram, diagram she wants to make him confess his feelings, he wants to make her confess her feelings, but without either one of them compromising their position or letting the other person know that they have feelings. They do have feelings for one another. They're like one another. They just need to confess it. We also have some side characters who are important. Chika Fujiwara, who is kind of a chaotic element who accidentally sometimes bring these people together. She usually doesn't know what she's doing or the trouble she's causing when she's doing this. She feels a little clueless, or I feel like she's a little clueless about some of the stuff that's going on. We also have Yu Ishigami, who's one of my favorite characters. He is the treasurer for the student council. They're all, well, these four are on the student council together. He is the accountant, or the treasurer, sorry, and he has some fear. He is very scared of Kaguya Shinomaya. We also have Ai Hayasaka, who is Kaguya's personal assistant. So all these are attending an elite school, and they are the sons and daughters of Japan's best and brightest. They are sons and daughters of leaders of industry, politicians, and very, very wealthy families. So everyone is the best of the best. The student council is kind of the very top of this already selective group of students. And we have this mind game battle going on with some fun side characters. This main book, at least my opinion, got really, really good when um, Kaguya Shinomaya falls ill. So they're always trying to do these things to get the other person to confess, to try to create and manufacture situations in which the other person will have to confess their feelings. And usually these situations backfire. And one of the situations backfires where Kaguya, um, Kaguya Shinomaya is out in the rain for a long time and catches a cold and kind of becomes delirious. Now, um, Shirogane gets sent to his house or to her house to give a gift and also like make sure she's okay and I think give the schoolwork or whatever the reason, the pretense for going to the house is, which is something he's kind of manipulated into happening. Um, and things ensue. I will say nothing like, like this is still a book that's rated for teens, nothing like super explicit is gonna happen, but the usual things, just general teenage boy nonsense occurs. I feel like this scene in this book kind of walks a very fine line between like, questionable but also I'm still reading the book and I feel like it walks that line finally and I would understand if some people didn't like this whole scene where uh Kaguya Shinomaya is sick however I think it was pre presented at least to me I found it very very funny and enduring um especially because um just the way Shirogani's acting and the fallout from all of this and also because we as the main characters also know that both these people have feelings for each other we as the main characters we as the readers know that both of these individuals have feelings for one another which kind of gives us this omniscient view and also we know that nothing actually happens between these two individuals there's just stuck in a bedroom together because the maid, the personal assistant, has locked them in together because the personal assistant has kind of manipulated this whole situation into being. She wants something to happen because she's aware that these two individuals have feelings for one another, but nothing really does, but there's fallout from it anyways. The series really just 
like the person on my video mentioned, it does kind of go up to the next level around volume three. So volume four was really, really funny. And I immediately picked up volume five after this. If you've been reading this series, I think you're definitely going to enjoy volume four with the caveat that that one scene where um, the girl is sick, I feel like does walk a very fine line between like funny and a like situational um, humor or people who are like, ah, that makes me a little uncomfortable. I definitely see people who fall in both camps. I personally thought it fell more on the funny camp, but I definitely see people who might not like that scene. That's the only part of volume four that I think could maybe turn people off. But the rest of the series, um, or the rest, I don't know how the rest of the series goes, but the rest of the volume is still just their usual um, games against one another. However, I do have to say that these people definitely have feelings for one another and I think their feelings for each other are growing as volume four continues. So this started out maybe I feel like with a crush, maybe the crush has deepened a little bit and that kind of makes the series a little more interesting, a little more rewarding. Volume four was interesting. I loved it. I had a great time reading it. Like I said, I read volume five immediately afterwards. I'm excited to continue to read the series. I'm glad I got this recommendation and I am going to see where this series goes and who wins this ultimate battle between these two very smart, very talented individuals. If you have any thoughts about the series or any other series you would like to recommend, please leave them in the comments below. I love to hear them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.